Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again. So we have some shocking news about EA. So brace yourselves. Now this comes from PlayStation Lifestyle and it says Electronic Arts is one of the most hated companies in the US. Again. Now it goes on to say, Financial news site 24-7 Wall Street has published its list of America's most hated companies and Electronic Arts has made it into the top five. Congratulations. The ranking was published last week, but has only just made rounds online after USA Today and CBS picked up on the report. This isn't the first time EA has appeared in such a list. The House of FIFA and Battlefield is undoubtedly one of the most successful video game publishers in the world, but a series of unpopular and questionable practices has pushed it into hot water on numerous occasions, with the most recent one being the Star Wars Battlefront 2 microtransaction controversy. Now, 24-7 Wall Street writes, while it has helped shape the face of gaming, EA has also unfortunately earned a reputation as the industry's evil empire. There are many examples of EA buying up smaller studios or operations for a specific game and then either stripping the game of its originality or running the studio into the ground. Uh, prior to the Battlefront 2 fiasco, EA announced the closure of Dead Space developer Visceral Games. Which sucked, because, you know... I really like Dead Space, and I was really hoping for another one, but that's gone. Uh, let's see. In canned Amy Henning's Star Wars project in favor of a new one, which drew criticism from the gaming community. Uh, EA hasn't commented on 24-7 Wall Street's report. Now, if we jump over to USA Today, here it is, Electronic Arts number 5. Uh, the uh, let's see we get a couple of companies here that have beaten this University of Phoenix came at number four uh, the NFL uh, let's see Fox Entertainment and Equifax Equifax hope I'm saying that right uh, so those were the uh, the four that beat out EA putting it in at number five now EA has beat out companies like Foxconn uh, Sprint let's see Vice Media Sprint, uh, Spirit Airlines, uh, Cigna, I don't know what that is, uh, Wells Fargo, you know, these are just a few, uh, Sears, Uber, so, you know, those are a couple of companies in the, uh, the top 15 most hated company, uh, category. So, if we go back down to EA, uh, this is what they say, they give a little bit more information, not too much, but, um, Electronic Arts, or EA, has been making highly successful video games for decades. EA has produced dozens of wildly successful franchises, including The Sims, Battlefield, and Need for Speed, and the annually sold uh, purchased sports titles such as Madden and FIFA. While it has helped shape the face of gaming, EA has also unfortunately earned uh, the reputation as the industry's evil empire. Uh, and of course it goes on, you know, PlayStation says the same thing. There are many examples of EA buying up smaller companies or studios. Uh, let's see. Uh, the company added to its infamy, infamy recently during the early release uh, days of the latest installment of another of its big franchises, Star Wars Battlefront 2. EA released an early access version of the game and immediately drew widespread ire from uh, gamers who discovered that unlocking some of the more popular characters requires over 40 hours of gameplay or spending hundreds or on in-game purchases. Wow, I can't read today. Uh, the public outcry surrounding, uh, surrounding the perceived greed led to the studio to temporarily suspend in-game purchases, which they are bringing back. Not sure when, but they have announced that the uh, microtransactions are coming back and I believe they want to add in even more microtransactions somehow. Now, speaking of Battlefront 2, over here on uh, Polygon, it seems Star Wars Battlefront 2 missed sales uh, expectations. So Polygon writes, um, sales of Star Wars Battlefront 2 fell short of electronic arts expectations, and the publisher is citing the fear over the game's microtransactions as the primary explanation. Uh, reports the Wall Street Journal. So EA sold about 9 million copies of Battlefront 2 during the three-month period from October to December 2017, uh, the third quarter of EA's 2018 physical year. According to the Wall Street Journal, 
Uh, let's see, that was about 1 million fewer than the 10 million copies that EA had expected to sell, the newspaper reports. Uh, Blake Jorgsen, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, the company's chief financial officer told the Wall Street Journal that the publisher's guidance calls for the sales of another 1 million to 3 million copies by the fiscal year's conclusion at the end of March. Uh, the higher end of that estimate would still put Battlefront 2 behind its predecessor. EA shipped more than 14 million units of the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 in its 2016 fiscal year. Now, there was an interesting update here. Um, let's see, you're talking about Star Wars Battlefront 2 in Disney. Now, I'm not sure what to believe on this. I don't know if they're just trying to cover their ass and, you know, make sure the... Um, you know the investors are happy but um this is an update from polygon let's see in an investor call this afternoon ea ceo andrew wilson denied that the kerfuffle surrounding star wars battlefront 2 and its microtransactions had soured the relationship between the publisher and disney from which ea licenses the rights to make star wars video games uh, apparently he says you shouldn't believe everything you read in the press said wilson we have a tremendous relationship with Disney, and we have built some amazing games together. And we have been very proactive with that relationship in the service of our players. Uh, Wilson added that he expects no trouble with Disney whenever EA decides to add in microtransactions back into Battlefield 2, saying, We're at the point where, when we make the decision that we have the right to model, play it, model for players and our community, I have no doubt that we will get the support of Disney on that. So, yeah. Very interesting. Now, I have no idea if he is just trying to cover his ass. I mean, there have been reports that, you know, when everything was going on with the microtransactions, um, that I forget who it was from Disney, you know, called over to EA and said, you know, hey, you gotta fix this, you know, don't be ruining, you know, the whole Star Wars franchise. You know, we get The Last Jedi coming out. You know, you're giving it a lot of bad press. You need to fix this. So, I don't know if he's just saying that, you know, to put the investors at ease. But, who knows. But, um, yeah, there we go. I mean, I would like to kind of see, you know, that license be revoked and let, you know, other companies... Um, you know, try to do Star Wars games. I mean, at least when it was back, you know, with LucasArts and stuff like that, you know, in the earlier days, you know, everybody was making Star Wars games. Um, you know, even if they weren't good, at least there was still a variety of different games where, you know, we just have EA and whatever EA wants, EA makes, you know. So if we want some sort of like third person action game, kind of like what, you know, Amy Henning was doing which now got canceled, you know, we won't get one, you know, highly doubt we ever will. Uh, you know, at least back then when anyone was making them, we might have like two or three different games, you know, third person action games, you know, made by different companies, but you know, who knows? But um, also if they did revoke the license, you know, who would really want to take on a Star Wars game? Well, yes, I'm sure it would make you know, a lot of money and stuff like that. Who would really want to, you know, kind of take on that burden? You know, because don't forget, I'm sure Disney, you know, has its grip on whoever is making the game, you know, keeping a very close, full, watchful eye over them, you know, all right, what are you doing? You know, you can't add this in, you can't add that in. Okay, can add this in. Uh, you know, you can't do anything with the story, you know, that might ruin our timeline or something like that. So, I mean it's it's kind of tough you know uh i think that's why you know the um battlefront 2 story was kind of meh you know it was just kind of kind of weak and stuff like that i guess that's kind of like what disney kind of signed off on it was like oh, okay you can yeah you can go with this you know remove that change this type of thing you know so i mean you're kind of restricted on what you can do but um Anyways, it is what it is, but um, yeah, microtransactions are coming back. 
I'm not sure exactly when and I heard they want to add in more like I said earlier more microtransactions what I don't know you know more loot boxes more cosmetic stuff I don't know I guess we'll have to wait and see but um yeah anyways there we go EA has made it into the top five of the most hated companies again so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button that'd be awesome remember feel free to subscribe to my channel follow me on social media links are in the description description box below as i am losing the ability to speak and um yeah leave me your thoughts and comments what do you guys think um is this what you expected Did you expect them in the top five or did you expect them higher up in the uh, the chain uh let me know and um you know let me know what you guys think about this update here you know with the uh, ceo saying oh yeah everything is all right between us and disney you know we're on good terms and stuff like that do you think they really mean that or do you think they're just blowing smoke let me know what you guys think and um yeah stick around more videos are on the way and I will see you guys next time.